Hi traders, market is open. Nasdaq is down 0.5%, S&P is down 0.15. Small gap down, but after yesterday's huge upside move, as you can see in the S&P 500, small pullback is no big deal. On the other hand, we've got some interesting movers today, like uh, Mara, which is up 5%, Tesla down 1.1%, Boeing, a huge gap down of uh, 5%. So I will be very much interested in trading any of these stocks. Um, let's see what comes up. What's wrong with Boeing? Is it halted or anything? I'm going to refine no, PNC here. I'm going to revise PNC 1. Hold on here. 122.40 PNC long, if we get there. 202.80, we could short Boeing if it comes down I'm under 202.80. Full share size on this trade as well. Boeing could be a gap and go under 202.80. I'm ready to short it and I'm shorting it now. Netflix is weak. Nice initial move in Boeing. Tesla is moving down, but there was no technical entry there. We just started with a gap down and continued. We do have a technical entry in Boeing and I hope it's going to continue. No trade PNC. No trade PNC. Boeing's moving good, getting ready for a partial. I'm going to pick it up here. 122 PNC. PNC long 122. Did not get a partial in Full share Boeing. Size pop, uh, popped there? up too quickly. Tesla going down. Market's initial move is up just a bit, not much. Watching PNC. Also watching CTLT. CTLT has a huge gap down of 26%. It could be shorted under 46. A bit spready. Okay, Boeing's back to my target. I'm looking for a new low. 201.83 is the recent low. Come on, new low, Boeing. Yes, here we go. Getting ready for a partial, taking now my partial in Boeing. Shorting here, CTLT. Nice. I'm short CTLT. Okay, almost at my stop now on PNC. Giving PNC just a little room here. Nice, nice initial move in CTLT2. Boeing keeps moving lower. Watch the banks, uh, JP Morgan. It could be an interesting long. I'm going to go long. Uh, JP Morgan over 136.20 which is now I'm long JP Morgan posted in the room right now Boeing still going. I'll make it to 120, which is a two dollar stop loss on PNC. I'm going nice to move, reduce Morgan. some more size here in Boeing. Just covered some more size in Boeing. 
Nice initial move in JP Morgan. CJP Morgan, yes, good over one thirty seven. JP Morgan, more than almost a point here. Getting ready for a partial in JP Morgan now. Took my partial in JP Morgan. Nice move. Glad I held on to this PNC here. JP Morgan starting to take off. Boeing still going. Scott mentioned the banks earlier. Definitely big movers today. Come on, PNC, we need you. Tesla's changing direction. The market is, in fact, moving higher. Very strong. S&P just turned green. Nasdaq is still red, 0.25%. We started lower, of course, much lower. But if you watch the S&P, we're at the highs of yesterday. Very strong upside. Yeah, still not move. out of the woods here on this PNC trade. Full share size trade for me, it's going to hurt if we approach uh, 120 on this stock. Giving it all I can to the downside. Does everybody sell the news today? Are the banks going to head lower? Are they going to continue to run higher this morning? Right now we look good to the upside. Those of you that took the Amazon trade based on our conversation this morning in the pre-market at 102.50, just coming into this trade right here, target is 103 on Amazon, AMZN. Simple trade, simple setup here over yesterday's close. Microsoft Your is very weak today. It's continuing. But you can see that it's trying to move higher based on the fact that the S&P is very, very strong. JP Morgan, great, new highs. Very nice, JP Morgan. I would like to sell some more, selling here JP Morgan, leaving just 100 shares in JP Morgan. Boeing's looking for a new low. Having some trouble with CTLT, but I trust it to move lower. Just popped up a little bit. It's okay. Stop should be not more than one point. Boeing new low. Boeing started down 5%, now it's down 6%, over 6%. Look at Tesla, wow. Tesla's shooting higher with the S&P. Nasdaq, almost closing the gap. It's a big upside move in the S&P. <clears throat> I would rather stay on the There's sidelines. Big red trade for me on PNC. Big red trade for me on PNC. Did not get this to go my way here. Had to come out 
Amazon right here approaching our 103. I'm going to come out of this trade right here. Amazon plus 84 cents. I'm sorry. Plus uh, 34 cents here on Amazon. Amazon's amazing. And, it's a nice uh, trade. Cents, I'm out of Amazon. What was your entry point in Amazon, Scott? Very easy. So, yeah, right at the 102.40, which is yesterday's close. 102.50, mm. just above it here. I see. Really nice. Yep. Well, Boeing doesn't stop. At some point here, I'll have to move out of CTLT. Worst case scenario is over the highs, but originally my stop was supposed to be over 47. Yeah, I'm going to stop it over 47 CTLT. Master. Nice. Make your day right there on one trade. No doubt about it. Hoping here that the whole number will save this trade, but does not look like it will. If it's going to move a cent over 47, I'll be out. Sometimes we have a lot of sellers at whole numbers and I'm hoping that we do in this case it just bounced nicely from the 47 but now it's coming back there looking at the buyers looking at the sellers you can see some selling pressure at 47 just popped down a few cents but now it's over and I'm out I'm out of CTLT I've got uh, Two winners, one loser. I've got one winner and one big loser, so I'm in the hole this morning. Wow, NVDA. Wow. The market is a bit extended to the upside. Pullback is uh, probably due. Wells Fargo just turned negative. Schwab's also is under the lows, or close to the lows. Interesting. Coin is uptrending. Banks are not holding, Scott. No, they're not. And, and, and we talked about that this morning. Are they going to hold? Is it going to be a, a, a day where the banks take the entire market higher? Or are we going to be selling the news? No, the S&P is moving Definitely up. So what's, what's wrong? What's... What's happening, really? Yeah. What's holding them back? Yeah. Yes, it does not stop. I'm thinking about taking Tesla along over 184.30. I will take Tesla long over 184.30. It's uptrending. I'm long Tesla. Can't ignore the fact that the market is moving to a new high here. JP Morgan is at a new high. Some, some stocks are lagging. I don't know why, like Wells Fargo. On the other hand, we've got uh, JP Morgan at new highs. Citigroup is looking for a new high. Morgan Stanley is strong. Yeah, JPM doing its own thing, really. Baba is weak. Uh, 
NVDA sure skyrocketed this morning. I do like the uh, Tesla trade here. It may take some under 184. And that's what I'm going to post here. Tesla short under 184, small share size to start. As it goes underneath the VWAP, I'll add to that. It's weak in this market. I'm long, Scott, I'm long. Are you really? <laughs> yeah, I just posted it. Well, I'll be happy if one of us makes money, you know? So if you take it short, that's one yeah. thing for sure. One of us is going to make money. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so Unless it goes directly sideways. But I think it looks fine right now. Well, you have to watch watch the, watch the 184.72, Mayor. You may get this. No, no, I I, I, I agree that if it's going to come down under, let's say, 183.70 or so, it will look nice for sure. But so far, it's uptrending and so is the market. And here we go, a new high. Yeah, there you go. There's the, there's the breakout. Well, we'll wait for it here, see what happens. Market doesn't stop. S&P is up 0. Point, almost 0 0.3, 0 0.26 right now. Nasdaq just turned green 0 0.12. Tesla at a new high. Somewhere over 185. I would like to take my partial. Thank you, Tesla. There you go. Taking now my partial in Tesla. Took. It's a bit extended. Those of you that have the pre-market on your charts, if you look at Tesla, it stopped right at the pre-market high. And uh, we'll see there that 185, 15, 16. S&P doesn't stop. Uh, all candles, all five minute candles are green, which is not very regular, I would say. If you look at the Nasdaq, you can see the same thing. So definitely a very strong, very strong upside move. A lot of buyers probably coming in after yesterday because yesterday we had a huge upside move. Tesla continues nicely. I will soon reduce some more size. Now sold some more. Wow, JPM, another breakout here. Easy trade on the breakout of the uh, VWAP line here on JPN. Boy, look at Tesla go, Mayor. You were absolutely nailed that. Perfect trade. Yeah, it's going well. And, you know, it's it's all about yeah. the S&P 500, Scott. Look at the S&P. Clearly moving up. Look at the Nasdaq. Yeah. But we're way too extended, traders. We are way too extended to the upside. I thought we are due for a pullback maybe five minutes ago, maybe more. And no, we just continue higher. I don't see that uh, continuing much, much more than where we are right now. Now, I don't want to go through a pullback in Boeing. So my stop in Boeing is going to be over 200. I wouldn't mind using a hard stop here. When you a hot stop in Boeing, just 100 shares left. Just over 200, a cent over 200. I've got a stop in the system right now. Traders, all shares out Amazon. All shares out Amazon. At some point, uh, Boeing just flat, may respond no to the S&P and continue and start moving higher as it is right now. 
anyway stopping it just over 200 it's a time to look for stocks which are relatively weak traders and moved up with the market like BABA for example as you can see BABA is relatively weak it's down 0.2 percent while the market the S&P is up 0.34 right now and BABA kind of wanted to come down today it just got stopped here because the S&P moved higher so we need to watch the S&P if the S&P is going to fail and it could happen of course then BABA will be one of the first to respond so kind of interesting formation here unless it's going to move over the highs of course if it does move over the highs I'm probably not going to be interested in BABA anymore so I'm, I'm following a lot of stocks uh, again many of them are interesting movers now look at Netflix Netflix is extremely weak today look at the way it behaves it did move over the highs but it's going sideways and the only reason it's moving up right now is because of the S&P 500 so if the S&P is going to fail Netflix is going to be one of the first to come down so that's the reason why I'm watching a lot of different stocks trying to figure out which one could be a candidate for a downside move uh, also Mara Mara is looking interesting for a failure although it still is in green quite strong really so probably not a good target but Mara is definitely weak the market is moving up and Mara is going sideways so I think there's more sellers than buyers in Mara today again although it started in green territory my only loser today which kind of annoys me is of course CTLT and at some point this stock is likely to come down so I'll keep an eye watching CTLT I've got a losing trade in CTLT but it's down 22% it is trending higher it was supposed to be a gap and go initially it was nicely but then it moved up so maybe at some point if it's going to fail I'm going to reshort it Boeing is testing the 200 mark again I've got a stop order over 200 I will be out but again if you watch the 200 mark you can see that once it reaches 200 you see a lot of sellers there again a whole number there's a lot of sellers lining up at whole numbers if you want to have a stop you better use a stop over a whole number in this case I'm short so I need a stop over the 200 mark and it really touched it now and bounced you can see that it was just two cents away from the whole number really and before that it was just one cent away so there's a lot of sellers at whole numbers and you can count on some kind of a resistance there in this case I'm looking for resist resistance since I don't want Boeing to move up it seems like we're starting the first pullback from the highs right now the S&P is topping probably already we have small dodgy at the highs this could be a pullback well traders 25 minutes into the trading session and I'm up with close trade $1,800 I've got uh, $150 riding in JP Morgan 286 here in Boeing and $95 in Tesla so I'm just over $2,000 with three winners one loser I want to thank you very much for watching this video appreciate the fact um, that you watch it and if you do like it please give me a like it's a live trading session as I do each and every day in my trading home so if you follow me and you want to join me you can log in to my trading room my live trading room and it's live every day on YouTube you're very welcome to join it's free everything I do all my picks are all shared live and you're very welcome to join thank you very much for watching please remember trading is extremely hard I'm a very experienced trader that's why I would normally make money but if you're starting out please start with a demo 
And remember, trading is hard, much harder than you think. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next videos.